show was the worst prestige of all time, then Rob Gronkowski was the best prestige of all time. Dude, what am I looking at? What am I looking at here? Middle linebacker, 94 overall, limited. Rob Gronkowski, 94 speed, puts him in a tier with very few players, and this is a middle linebacker. Not only that, but he is six foot six. He has 90 zone coverage. He has 95 block shed. He has 96 hit power. He has 91 man coverage. This is one of the most absurd cards I've ever seen. He has lurk artists for free, and we, ladies and gentlemen, we have a dilemma. Let me get you caught up to speed real quick. Rob Gronkowski was my season one one prestige, which means I'm entitled to the best version of Rob Gronkowski at any given time. However, if you dig very deep in the Wheel of Mutt rule book, there is a stipulation. Sometimes players will get an offense and a defense version, and somehow we just ran into that problem with Rob Gronkowski on accident. It's very rare for this to happen, but now I have to make a choice. Do I keep 93 overall limited hover athlete Rob Gronkowski tight end, or do I rock the limited middle linebacker Rob Gronkowski. Now, we did just prestige cover athlete Ray Lewis, who's also an amazing middle linebacker, but I'm not gonna lie, this Ray Lewis is actually kinda, he's kinda dog shit compared to that Gronk. That Gronk is that good. Let's take him toe to toe. Gronk is five inches taller, which is an absurd gap. He's two speed faster. He's four excel. He's stronger. He has a little less tackle and play rec. He has more block shed and hit power. They have the same zone coverage. Now, you might might be saying to yourself, oh no, that sucks because now you can't use Ray. I got Ray for a very specific reason. And the reason I grabbed Ray is Ray is good even if he's an outside linebacker. Now on top of that, Ray Lewis has this incredible avalanche ability that starts on. I think I'm going to start games with Ray Lewis at middle linebacker with avalanche. And once avalanche deactivates, I'm going to move Ray Lewis to left outside linebacker. And then I'm going to move Gronk in at MLB two. But all of that assumes that I don't start Rob Gronkowski at tight end. Well, guess what? That kind of works out because if you watched the Christmas special, which you must have, you'll know that I got 93 overall blocking tight end Vita Vea, who was actually a very, very solid tight end option. Not as good as tight end Gronk, but he's hilariously good anyway. Uh, we're gonna need a backup to Vita Vea, but I'm taking this Rob Gronkowski out. I'm bringing the middle linebacker in. When life gives you juicy honky milkers, you squeeze them. That's the same. And my juicy honky double D milkers is not 94 overall middle linebacker, Rob Gronkowski. However, Vita Vea cannot play fullback now. So let's move the Najee Harris to fullback. He's actually, he's got the build for a fullback. Better than Singletary does. And now we can move Vita Vea up in the depth chart. And now we're forced to put a silver player at tight end two. But hopefully in today's episode, we can clear that up. There's also one gigantic thing I haven't talked about yet, and that's presence, but we'll get there. So we got Zach Kuntz in defensively. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna move Rob Gronkowski to my backup middle linebacker. He's boosted to a 95 overall, and then we'll move Anthony Walker to... Ah, no, that's not right, is it? That is technically right. This is how we should do this. I just have to make sure that I sub Gronk in every single time. The other thing I can do is I can make my sub, my backup sub linebacker be Gronk, so that when I do nickel formations, rather than Ray Lewis and Cam Chancellor, it's actually gonna be Ray Gronk. Oh, that's so fucking good. Gronk is better than Ray Lewis. That avalanche on Ray Lewis is such a game changer that I do need to start Ray Lewis still. For a recap, he gets Avalanche for the first eight plays of the game. Any downhill hit stick when you have Avalanche guarantees a fumble. That's just so overpowered, honestly. I don't know how else to put that. And we don't have to mess with any AP on defense because Lurk Artist is free on Gronk. That's an insane addition. I just have to be really good about my formation subs so that Gronk is always in. If I ever you know, don't have him in, I'm wasting such a talented player. We now officially have a Lurk Artist on every single linebacker that is in my lineup. And if you want to know a fun fact, Rob Gronkowski has six, six cards. Rob Gronkowski has six cards. I haven't had that many extra girlfriends. Nick Bosa is sitting at a Coralie. This guy has suited up and played NFL football every single week for the last 17 weeks. Rob Gronkowski is shotgunning a beer on his fucking couch. I shouldn't be mad because Gronk is my prestige, but I, dude, it's, it's fucking personal. Oh my God. I don't know which one of you cucks. One of you, one of the views on this video is someone who works at EA and I know it. And you are sabotaging me. You are harboring Nick Bosa from me and you know it. Keaton Mitchell has three cards. I didn't know who Keaton Mitchell was six weeks ago. Ugh. God, I'm so over it. He, Keaton Mitchell has a Campus Hero, a Harvest, and a Go Some Mutt. Nick Bosa has a Coral Elite that I shoved out of my asshole six months 
Marshall go? Boys! There's one more thing. This is gonna be an awesome episode because we haven't even started. And today is formally, officially, the presents opening. Now, two things. So I can open all the presents that we collected during December and I can add all of them to my team right now. I have seen in the comments that presents aren't that good. I have not personally opened a single one yet. So we're gonna find out. We could use a center. We could use a right guard. We could use a left tackle. I could use a true fullback. I could use a backup tight end. I could use a backup safety for sure. I could use better corners. I could definitely use a better D line. Well, my linebackers are nasty. So that's probably the only position we really don't need. Also, if they want to plop uh, an awesome quarterback in my lineup, that's fine. But you know what? Dak has been pretty good this season. So I'm not going to complain about Dak. As a recap, the presents we have are the blue simple, the red nice, silver nice, blue nice. One more simple. We have two lavish, presumably blitz players. We have one of the gold lavish. Don't know what this is still. Silver, we have two red burgundy lavish, one team of the week lavish, one silver lavish, and that's it. Whatever we get here, we can add to the squad. I'll start with my very, my first ever Madden 24 Christmas present. This simple is a little 82 overall Michael Vick. By the way, in a video a while ago, I was talking about re-rolling. Ah, uh, no, no re-rolling. I take that shit back. So somebody commented, make a very good point. Makes my wheel spins irrelevant. If I can just re-roll all my players, it makes the wheel spins pointless. So I fully agree. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. This one has 87 Mac Jones in it. We can't use that either. But hey, they heard me talking about quarterbacks. This next nice present right here. It is team of the week. 85 Albert. Oh, that's actually a great backup tight end. It's a really good backup tight end. Yeah, 6'5", 85 speed. That's, that's low-key nice. All right, I assume this is an 85 plus Legends player then. The last one was an 85. 86 Howie Long. Two simple presents right here. This one's... Oh, so this was AKA. Jerome Bettis low-key is a nice fullback. Don't know if I'll use him. Same thing. We can OBJ there. Can't. Uh, I'm going to do everything but the lavishes and we'll save the lavishes for last. This is a simple team of the week. These are dog shit. This was the first present we pulled out of a mystery. Lavish Blitz. You're fucking me. Wait a minute. You're telling me the lavish is of an 89 speed punter in front of me, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no way. You're telling me the lavish doesn't guarantee a 90? This is our second one. Oh my God. These are ass. Even for you, EA, I am shocked. And I know you're watching my videos. You sabotage my Nick Bosa. So I know you're seeing. Wow. Now my hopes are down. This gold lavish present, this one was expensive. It was 3,500 training. I predicted it'd be a harvest. Harvest champ. That was 3,500 snowflakes and it's an 89 plus harvest player. I'm so blown away at how dog shit these are that I'm not even factoring that this is an incredible pull for Wheel of Mutt. Let's get back on the Wheel of Mutt train here. An 89 overall left tackle is huge for this team. My Lada is great. He was actually our left tackle last season. This lavish is an... That's an amazing Wheel of Mutt pull too. This lavish is most feared and it's an 87 plus. Are you sucking my dick, EA? This is so... This is such a slap in the face. Those are actually really good pulls too. Jalen Petrie is nasty and so is Landon Dickerson. So is my Lada as far as Wheel of Mutt is concerned. But as far as I'm concerned for how much time and energy I spent... Ooh, this guy's ass. Ass. Five months old and I just got it in a Christmas present. Okay, okay, here we go, boys. Our final lavish for Wheel of Mud is fucking Money Manziel. Damn, they really want me to have my team from last season, bro. All right, that is everything we get to pull for Wheel of Mud. As much as I am disappointed about those presents, these are massive Wheel of Mud upgrades. I'm more upset on behalf of everyone. Obviously, Wheel of Mud is not how this game is played. I just made this shit up. All right, hey, offensive line looks a lot, lot better to start out right there. We have a new wide receiver three, which is Zay Flowers. Too. All right, Albert. O at tight end two. And then my backup strong safety, Jalen Petrie was a really good pull. I love this Jalen Petrie. Uh, 88 speed, 90 XL. He's a little short, but he's definitely better than uh, Cam Chancellor's 84 overall legend. So new backup strong safety. I could technically put in a Sang Bassey or Adrian Phillips, but I'm telling y'all, this is Sang Bassey is, is <laughs> such a bad card. He's five foot nine with 86 speed and he's an 88 overall. They did this dude so dirty. I'm keeping Adrian Phillips in and a Sang Bassey can ride the pine. But guess what? A Sang Bassey got a better card than Nick Bosa did. Who the fuck is a Sang Bass? Revamped defense has got Gronk, Jalen Petrie, and then really a revamped offense. We got Mylotta, Dickerson, Albert O at backup tight end. We got Zay Flowers at wide receiver. Najee Harris is rocking my fullback. I said I wanted to build a good run game team for the Derrick Henry, so hopefully we can do it. Boys, we haven't even spun the wheel yet. Thank you guys for your patience, by the way. Holidays were a little hectic. I'm sure you would have liked to see this video a little sooner, but it is what it is. All right, Belobius, Belobius, Belobius. Belobius, you have to take over. All right, I gotta go find my phone for the wheel spin. So, Belobius, you talk to the people. Belobius, you talk to the people. Pussy. All right, boys, let's get our first wheel spin in. We are 3-0 on the season, so I have a good chance 
to do an undefeated season right now if we can keep it up. Ooh, a stocking stuffer. Okay. So this is one guaranteed 91 overall player. Stocking stuffer players start at an 82 overall. You spend snowflakes on them and you can level them up to a 91 overall player. So I do get a pick of a lot of players. I think... I think I'm gonna go with a center. Yeah, I am gonna go with a center. I think there's only one center, but at least there is a center. We have Derrick Henry, dude. Right now, Derrick Henry, in my opinion, is one of the best players in the game right now. Barring positions, he's that good. We have to build a dominant offensive line for him so that we can go off. Quite frankly, Dak has been playing just fine, so I don't feel any need to mess with that right now. I'm going Nick Gates as my stocking stuffer player. Let me figure out how this works. I'm pretty sure I literally just put snowflakes on him and we'll have a 90 an overall center. So in comes Nick Gates at center. He has, an, he has a special X factor. I don't actually know what that ability is. Honestly, this is a better use of my snowflakes than those damn presents. All right, here's our boy Nick Gates. He's got good, well-rounded stats. Derrick Henry will be happy. All right, our first upgrade is for Derrick Henry. We got a 90 overall center, the best player on our offensive line. Our second spin. I'm so glad I got this. He's been sitting on my bench for so long. 89 plus Redux player. So I actually, I have four of these. I can open one right now. You get an 89 overall or better Redux player. I think these go as high as 92. They do. They go as high as a 92 overall. No point in thinking about it, boys. Let's just take our pack. Our 89 plus Redux player is DJ. What is this? What is this from? Is this a Blitz card? What is this card? DJ Turner? I think that's a Blitz card. I don't even remember. DJ Turner, this. What promo are you from? He's from Blitz. He's from Blitz. All right. Hey, we got a 90 overall corner. Not bad stats. I was worried. It was going to be another is saying Bassy, but no. DJ Turner is a dog. He's 5'11". He's a little short, but 91 speed, 90. 90, man, is great. 83 zone, 88 pursuit. What's his tackle? It doesn't look like he's going to be very good. All right, he has 69 tackle. You know what? I definitely feel more comfortable with him than Adrian Phillips, despite the fact that Adrian Phillips has had a career season. Adrian Phillips has been a dog. So, hey, let's clap it up for Adrian Phillips, who's a very nice fill-in corner for us, even though he's not a corner. 91 speed, 87 excel. Damn, you know, Adrian Phillips is actually a pretty nice nasty corner. All right, beautiful. We got DJ Turner from the Blitz promo on defense, along with our stocking stuffer, Nick Gates. Well, okay, boys, I would take a right guard here if beggars could be choosers, but if wishes were horses, then beggars would ride. Man, that, that, man, shit. Oh, I wanted that jackpot. 90 to 91 team wheel. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Now we just got to hope that whatever team we land on has a really solid player in that overall range. Every team at this point is going to have players. Just do they have a guard? Oh, 49ers going to have so much stuff, but they're not going to have a guard. Honestly, this is such a dope representative for the 49ers team. George Kittle has a 90 overall tight end, and I'm sitting here talking about how I need a backup tight end. On top of that, George Kittle is actually a pretty good blocking tight end, and I'm worried about Derrick Henry. So Albert O, you'll move down to the third string tight end. I know it sounds like it's really deep in the depth chart, but I have used third string tight ends many times in Wheel of Mutt. All right, 90 overall George Kittle the backup tight end. So I think we've done a really good job of replacing Gronk. Neither of these guys are as good as that Gronk, but there's no linebacker on the planet as good as that Gronk. So I think we made the right choice there. On the line today is DJ Turner, George Kittle, and Nick Gates, 390 overalls. On top of that, of course, is our perfect season. We are 3-0 right now. And if we can drop a 40 bomb, Belobius will hand over the Immaculate Pack. We're back to the normal challenge wheel. Completing a challenge will get me one pack from the store or I can salvage a player in a loss. Let's see what we got today, baby. I am glad we are on five-minute quarters. Challenge wheel today is I need 100-plus yards with two separate players. Scrimmage yards do not count. I cannot have 50 rushing and 50 receiving with Derrick Henry and call that 100 yards. I need 100 rushing with Derrick Henry and then 100 receiving with Jamar Chase. That's just an example, but you get my point. Yikes! I see limited Randy Moss, Julio Jones, and Tariq Woolen. We got a new top three member of our own, and it's the limited Rob Gronkowski. It's a night game in Niners Stadium taking on the Cowboys. All right, boys, first and 10. Lake, take a look at nickel defense. Ray Lewis and Gronk in the middle. That is a deadly linebacker duo. And he's going to check down short. I do the same thing. Avalanche, Avalanche. Oh, I switched. Oh, did you see that? I tried to switch onto Ray and hit stick, and it took me to the corner because he was a little bit closer. All right, I'm just going to stay on Ray right here while he's got Avalanche. I don't want to mess that up. See what these guys, you looking at 80? 
No, Vic has nothing. He's gonna slide down before getting rocked by Kyle Hamilton. Double Mug is not a great defense, but it's really nice for the subs that I have. Cause I get Gronk and Ray in the middle here. He's looking at his hat. You're shh. You are so bold. I can't believe you threw that across Ray's face. All right, we're gonna switch to dollar three two. It's nice that we have Jalen Petrie now because he's in on this. So I'm glad we got him. He's gonna hand. Oh, he's gonna go read option and. Christian Gonzalez takes a not-so-great angle. Vic just got slammed, and he's still got the ball. He's looking at limited Randy Moss. Oh, a loss went up. Three. Volleyball simulator, it's back, baby. I wouldn't be happy about that, I'm not gonna lie. All right, he's in nickel 3-3, really popular defense, but you can run on this defense. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Derrick Henry, opening drive. Oh, I shouldn't have ran through him, huh? I'm Derrick Henry. I'm pl I'm playing like I'm Devon A-Chan from last season. I am Derrick Henry. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Derrick Henry with a monster stiff arm. We'll take two yards on that run. And I'm going back to I-form tight halfback ISO. Uh, I'm almost tempted to sub Vita Vea in and then put George Kittle at true tight end. Where would we rather have that blocking from Vita Vea? Would you rather have it? It's a tough decision. I'm just going to go right at the middle. His inside stuff activated, but Derrick Henry breaks the first tackle every time, so it didn't matter. Vita is going to be running a route. Jamar Chase is in press coverage. My only issue right now is I don't have Hot Route Masters, so I'm kind of stuck with these standard routes. Puka Nakua! He's got it, and he's up! First and 10, Puka Nakua. Now we're going to widen out here. I don't think this is man coverage. It's not. That's a touchdown. No! Ooh. so confident for what oh it's it, and it's my champions i can't see what defense he ran whoa i thought for sure that was just a freebie all right we got a ball game here boys first and ten i come up with a stop he comes up with a stop back to read option and guess what baby that's nick bosa on a black quarterback you ain't going nowhere 86 nick bosa with i guess that's a tfl technically zero to zero camara is bottled oh he'll go half back that was a smart decision Camaro go down at third and five. Oh no, I left the... Maybe not! Champ! Champ Bailey, 88 overall, knocks it out of limited Randy Moss's hands. That's awesome. And he's gonna go single back bunch. I'm gonna hit him with Samuel Blitz. We haven't brought this out yet today. This has got Luke Keekley blitzing. It's hot. Oh, nice find. He makes a great play right there. Derwin, take the edge. Oh my God, Peyton. Cuts it up the middle immediately, but that time doesn't work. He gets nothing. He's staring at a third and two. I expect to pass. He's got a whip route. Oh. All right, potentially he switches it up and goes with a run here. No, he's still looking at Camaro. Oh, you are fucking kidding me. Anthony Walker animated like he had it, but it did But it, it, did it go through his hands. I like a little Wildcat. I know that there are passes out of Wildcat, so I don't want to completely sell out here. Goes with a jet sweep. What kind of angles are we taking? I thought I had that bag. I don't know what's going on right now, but let's just get it together and win this ball game. Peyton Hillis now has a passing touchdown, I think. He's got it. He just completed his wheel of mutt challenge. Oh! No! Oh, one more juke, and that was my nastiest kick return. We've been running the ball so effectively. And then I throw an interception. Why? Why am I throwing? On that damn ball, man. I just I got scared. I say as I throw another pass, but this one's got Vita Vea wide open. Block number four. Wow, I'm getting hold a little bit. I don't want any time on this clock. Derrick Henry no longer has his ability. That's okay. We use a whole lot of clock. Then we're going to get all the way to the edge. I expected to break that tackle. Those are some really nice blocks. And look who's wide open. None other than George Kittle. That does not stop the clock. Whoa. There's only nine seconds left. Maybe I should have called the timeout there. I'm going to take this shot. Hey, nope, nope, nope. No! Holy shit, that was the longest second in history. I threw that shit away. All right, I'll take it. I'll take the field goal. That was poor clock management, dude. To have one second on the clock and have two timeouts. Holy fuck! Why was that so fast? Jesus! What is going on today, bro? What is going on? Luckily, I was close enough to where that didn't matter. If I was... That was a 45er, I'm... Oh, kicks off to Jamar Chase. You want to do it again, Jamar? Give me a little something spicy to work with. We got time to think about this. Beautiful. Nice catch. Puka hangs on. Puka's been real good today. I'm not even close to my challenge wheel, though. We haven't moved the ball that effectively. 
It's not main coverage, but he's not covering underneath. So the whip is there anyway. Oh my God. Ow. Puka doesn't fumble though. Can I hit Jamar? I'm going for it. I'm going with the free form. Jamar. Jeez. What a dunk. PS2 gets cooked. No, don't make me burn a timeout. You see that perfect free form right outside of Sertan's reach? I have to keep that in mind. He keeps press covering me. I have to remember that I can do that. Let's do it, Derek. Oh. Get the fuck out of here. Tank Dell Corner. Just, she's 165 pounds. We don't talk about it. We don't talk about it. All right, Jamar, you want to do it again? You're my saving grace here, buddy. Oh my God, I could have hit Jamar, but I could hit the goal. I just bought through another interception PS2. Somebody help me. I need to take a penalty here so that I can have a 45 yarder so that it's actually hittable. This is hilarious, but I have to intentionally take a penalty here. I need I need the kick to be 45 yards so that Butker gets his slow meter. There we go. This has been a really difficult game, dude. He has me bagged. Six to seven. Believe in the win and it will occur. So if he scores a touchdown on this drive, there's two scenarios. He could go for two and extend this to a nine point game. Then I'm in a lot of trouble. I got to pick up the pace and I got to score damn fast. If he scores, takes his PAT, which I expect. Our touchdown will require a two-point conversion, and if we're clutcher than hell, we'll be able to do it. I think the better case scenario is I just stop it. Expect this to be a handoff. We're in DB Fire 2. Yeah, he's looking to play the clock game, and I would too. See, that's just crazy. Like, th none of this could occur if it was four-minute quarters. I would have gotten cheesed out by a true clock already. All right, Hamilton, I'm gonna beat that ass with you, buddy. That would not have run. I'm sending six, so he's got to throw this ball fast. I think he goes 80. <laughs> Doesn't have time. Agbania Okoronkwo. I, I think that's his first significant stat of any game. All right, I'm sending the same thing. I just got to cover underneath because he's going to want to go short probably. Oh, no. Hillis isn't running a route. Get home. Make Bosa. Woo. I don't need a prestige. Third and 21. He is. He's in trouble right now. Two times we get home quick. What's he go with here? Is he going to try and bomb 80? Doesn't have it. Oh, my God. He just, did he hope that we would rub there? How do you have that much time? It's fourth and three. Gotta believe in our D-line here. He's got a whip route, isn't open. Goes Kamara. I absolutely hate that that DB is in, a, is in a light blue playing underneath and he's not covering the only guy in his own. End zone, he walks it right into the end zone. 14 to six. I gotta score quick so that... What the fuck is that lineman doing? Look at this Cowboys lineman. He's just infinitely bat. <laughs> what are you doing? Look, he's still doing it. He's still doing it. He's just doing backwards somersaults infinitely in a circle. Oh, uh, classic Peter right there. Got a Puka Nakua laser here. Leaves him. You're there's no fucking way! There's absolutely no fucking way! I literally switched on and held A for a possession catch and he does that. That's so crazy. Luckily, Derrick Henry. I mean, it's Vita Vea. It's, okay, let's all settle down. It's Vita Vea. Like, I don't know if he's really built for this anyway. He's going to leave Derrick Henry the whole damn game. Get your ass out of bounds, Derrick. Yeah, I got to score real real fast because we need the two-minute warning on our side. We need the timeouts on our side. I have a timeout burnt, though. Go take him. Give me a block. Nice block, Derrick Henry. Puka, touchdown. See, so that's what I threw earlier that I thought was a touchdown, and PS2 came over and took that shit. Doesn't matter. I have to get the two point here. Dude, this has been, four verticals has been so effective. I'm staying in it for this. Hit Derrick Henry underneath. Get it to him. Oh, damn it. I thought he'd hang on to that. That's tough. Do I onside here? I actually do. I onside here so that he can't use the whole clock. Down by two. So touchdown ends the game. He gets a touchdown in PAT GG's. If I home the field goal, we play ball. Speed onside, high kick. Find out. Oh, muff that shit. Duvernay? He's got it. Good play. I onside that there so that he doesn't have a gigantic field to milk the clock with. Now we just need him to make a mistake. I'm going to play on Ray here so that I can cover Kamara underneath. Oh, read option. What the fuck is going on with these angles? Why is he so much faster than me on the boundary? This happened twice now. This actually hands that one off. Rock by Kyle Hamilton. It's third and four. I'm going to let this go two minute warning. It's the exact same thing and nobody... I don't get that play. I don't know why it's setting up like that. Dude, that two point conversion was so massive. The fact that I fumbled that two point conversion really hurts. We get good yards here with Derrick Henry. Ooh, we don't get better than good yards here with Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry's rushes are okay. 92 yards of Puka. Wait a minute. I could still get my challenge. Wait a minute, dude. If I got a few more yards, Puka Nakua, challenge is alive. Yep. 
Hey, Puka's got 100. Now we need 100 Derrick Henry. And honestly, we can still win this game technically. Just got to score real fast. Okay, he, he is forced to drop all the way back. God, that set up so horribly. A little Derrick Henry, little screen pass action. I mean, it still, it still comes down to an onside kick. If I get the onside kick, I still win this game. I got to score first, but Derrick Henry. Last bad ball. Well, now it doesn't come down to onside. He's at 77. I need 23 receiving yards with 14 seconds. This is where, dude, like, I just want out route master so bad. I could just put him on an angle route. I must have a play that, that gives an angle route, right? Good. Oh, he just got 13 right there. He is so close. Here's what we do. Let's go empty base flex. Let's take 17, which is Puka. Henry's got to come up for anybody. George Kittle becomes Derrick Henry. We just go five wide, and we got to hit him on the seam beater because he's still probably in cover three. Oh, he's not. I don't know what this is. No, he just switched his defense. He's the worst time for this shit. I got to send Puka deep. I got to send Vita Vea across the face. Derrick Henry. Caught. Stiff arm. I think that's 100. I think. I think. Hey. Yo, GG's to my opponent. That was a really tough defense. I just couldn't get in the end zone. You're not going to win a lot of football games. You don't get in the end zone. Tough loss, 27 to 12. Oof. But I think I got my challenger there at the end, which salvages a player for us. So our challenge was two players with 100 yards. Oh, by the skin of our teeth. Derrick Henry with 10, 109. Puka Nakua, 6, 117, and a touchdown. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I need to get rid of Dak. I'm, I'm need to get rid of Dak. This guy didn't have a crazy good team, but he had a good team, and he played a meta defense. And without set feet leading Hot Round Master, I'm a fucking dumbass back there. Which is ironic because I shit on people saying that a couple weeks ago. But yeah, that's uh, that's tough. I do think some stuff was unlucky in that game, but I don't think it mattered. I think I would have lost that game anyway. Just gotta be better. Gotta, gotta find a way to catch the dub next time. We do fall to three and one, so no perfect season. Uh, we're gonna have to get rid of two of those players, but completing the challenge wheel will let us salvage one player. I guess the bright spot is that we didn't really add anyone good. I mean, Nick Gates is solid. I like Nick Gates. Uh, George Kittle is solid, but I feel like we really don't need him because I have Albert O anyway. Defensively, we got DJ Turner. I don't know. Adrian Phillips was solid. So I think we keep Nick Gates. So yeah, the, the player I'm going to salvage is Nick Gates, which means DJ Turner comes out. I'm going to put Adrian Phillips back in. He's got a nice replacement. And unfortunately, the San Fran 49ers are going to have to get a different team captain. It ain't going to be George Kittle because we're going to lose him here and in's going to come Albert O. Nick Gates is salvaged. Our offensive line is still solid. That's just a tough game. I feel like Derrick Henry got going pretty well, but then when we were forced to pass, I was just pitiful throwing interceptions didn't have a lot of zip on the ball wasn't finding people open Dak you're next buddy Dak you're on the chopping block boy all right y'all hey I hope you guys enjoyed today's video it was an absolute blast to record tough loss I'll try and make it up for you guys next episode thanks for watching as always I'll see you guys then peace